I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Now I'm checking out the Kion by Geeksphone running the brand new operating system Firefox OS. Now, Firefox OS looks quite simple. It's quite reminiscent of Android in that it has various home screens for you to swipe around. Swipe to the right and you'll see quite a lot of bold icons that are a bit, quite a bit like iOS. And over to the left, you'll see groups of icons grouping together, social and local and, and music tools. You'll find along the bottom the uh, important tools of your browser, your contacts, messaging, and your phone. It's built on HTML5, which Mozilla, who makes Firefox OS, reckons will allow people to build apps much more simply, as it's an open platform. The interface looks quite simple and fairly attractive, but it is too early to tell if it offers enough to really be a compelling choice. The phone itself has a 3.5-inch display with a 480 by 320 pixel resolution, so it's not going to be as pin sharp as phones like the Galaxy S3, who have 720 displays. Around the back, you'll see a 3 megapixel camera, as well as a bright orange shell, probably to do with the fact that it has Firefox. It's powered by a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, which is far from powerful going against some of the quad-core chips we're seeing in a lot of new phones, but it should keep the essentials ticking on along nicely, and as it's HTML5, nothing should really be that demanding of it, but we'll see how it performs when we give it a proper test. Geek's phone tells you that the Kion is going to be available for just over $100 when it goes on sale in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be selling it through its website and hopes to be able to ship it all over the world, although it wasn't able to confirm whether it'll be definitely in Europe or the US, so I think we're going to have to wait and see exactly where it'll be happy to ship it to. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET, and this is the Geek's phone Kion running Firefox OS.